Oh chaps, how are we all doing today? Hope we're all well. I'm well, which is uh, good for me. Yep, this is John, Mad Irishman, with you again. And what am I doing today? I'm doing a little, we'll call it a tutorial video, okay? This is more really for uh, for new modellers and uh, inexperienced modellers. I mean, you might be a fabulous modeler, but if you're inexperienced and, you know, you, you get a kit and you open it up and you see that it's got these... Uh, these individual track links not the rubber track links that you just have to melt together there you go job done but it's got individual track links and you've got about four or five sprues of the bloody things and they're all individual frightening yes it is it, it, believe me it is frightening for uh, <coughs> if you've never done them before because you look at the instructions and the instructions don't really show you how to do them it doesn't it just says you know you need so many of them just put them bloody well together and stop whinging so this video is for people who don't know, okay? Um, this is not the definitive way of how to do individual track links. This is my way on how I do individual track links, okay? So we're gonna zoom down to the bench and we'll start off with uh, a few bits and pieces that you need to, you know, to, to get them all ready, uh, then putting them together and then wrapping them around the vehicle, okay? So we'll zoom down to the bench and uh, we'll get started. All right, so here we are. And like I said, this is what the instructions show you. They say, you know, you make two of them. Complete tracks for one side re requires 106 links. Track assembly, and that's it. You know, what the bloody hell is that? You say to yourself, feckin' hell, I don't know what to bloody well do with that. This is how I do them, lads, okay? And like I said, it's not the definitive way of how to do them. This is my way of how to do them, okay? So, what you do first, obviously enough, is you cut them all off. You cut them all off the sprue. And then you end up with tons of bloody track links, okay? You have hundreds of the fakers, right? You count out how many you need per side. It says 106. I always do one or two extra, because you'll never know. Sometimes it says 106, you won't need 106, you might need 107 or 100 and bloody well eight. And sometimes you need less. On this kit, I actually it said 106 and I needed 105. But this time, when you do each track, do each track the same way. In other words, do what they tell you, make the 106, but have one or two ready just to put on and the fur finish, okay? Because when you wrap it around and you need to add one more to it, you gotta you know put it back open and get it in and when you get it in fast you don't want to spend time cleaning that one off okay or you know clipping it off and get leaning get it all ready so it's always handy just to have one or two extra ones ready for you so you start off anyway you clip them off this off your um off the sprue and you end up with with these little bloody things okay we we'll zoom in on that now okay now excuse me dirty fingernails because i've been working away as you see on the tips of that there, all right. When 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 it decides to zoom in on that, it's got extra little bits and pieces on it. See? Oops. Come on, zoom in, you bastard. Come on, zoom. Typical, isn't it? The camera won't work when you fucking want it to. But anyway, you've got these little bits extra on them. Put the sprue, put the gate joins. So you clean them off, okay? And when you get them all cleaned off, you end up with your 106 links. In this case, 106 links, right? So you've you've you, you've 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 cut them all off the sprue with your sprue cutters. You've cleaned them off with your knife. You've given them a sanding with your sanding stick. Do you like my my sanding stick? Pretty hearts. Okay, I got them. I get these from the uh, from the chemist. They're just as as good. They don't last as long as the the hobby ones, but they're just as good and they do the job. Okay. What else do you need? What do you need now for this stage? Okay. You need some masking tape. Okay. Ordinary cheap pound shop masking tape. Tweezers and some glue. Now this is the glue I use. Don't use the quick setting glue. Okay. That is one thing. Do not use the quick setting glue because you don't want this thing to set in one big long straight and it's going to be harder to bend and fold them in. So you lose, you need a kind of an intermediate to slower drying glue. And I find this one the best 
for track links. And this is the only thing I use this stuff for now is track links. Okay, it's the Revel Contact uh, Professional. Okay, and I use it for track links, and it's absolutely fabulous. It's got a little uh, applicator thingy me jiggy. Right now, it's actually it comes a little bit longer than that. Comes in with that long, but I, I cut these off and I use them for machine gun barrels <laughs> on Russian tanks, and they're freaking absolutely fabulous for the T thirty four. I use it for that. Okay. Because it's still hollowed out in the whole lot, okay. So you need your your glue, and you need your your your, your tape. You also need. Yeah, I forgot to get it ready. A metal ruler, okay. You don't really need a metal ruler, but it's handy to have, right? So what you do, you get your your kit that you need your tracks on. Okay, I need the tracks now to go onto this. This is the uh, Hobby Boss IDF uh, APC Nag Machon. Bit of Hebrew there for you. Right, and what you do is, well, what I do. I keep saying what you do, but take it that I'm saying what, what I do, okay? Is I measure the length of the whole bloody thing, right? Because you're going to have to have the bends and things like that. You're going to take that into account and everything else, right? So the whole thing is. Um, what eight and a half inches? You don't need you don't need proper measurements. Rough measurements will do. So you need eight and a half inches long, okay? Or that works out at uh, in centimeters. It works out at uh, two hundred and twenty. So we go we go with the centimeters. Two hundred and twenty centimeters long, okay? Two twenty. So you said it's right. Well, I need double that anyway because I've got to go over twice. You got to go across the bottom and across the top. So two twenty. That's uh, four forty. And you'll need another, say, 30 centimetres or 40. So we give it another 40 centimetres on top of that again, right? So, what you do then is, you measure that out on your on your cutting mat or your mat or whatever you want to use, some nice level surface, okay? Okay, you measure out that length. Then you get some, that masking tape that I was talking about, right? And you pull it out to the required length. Now I'm just going a little bit longer than what I actually bloody well need. But it's no harm. Just cheap stuff anyway, right? Now you've got your strip of it. Okay. Now I'll just pull this up a bit just so we can get the whole thing into view. Okay. I'll get one side of it into view anyway. Right. And we you tape it down. Make sure it's along a kind of a reasonably straight line. You tape it down. Sticking your hand to the tape in the meantime. Okay. Okay. Make sure it's nice and straight. Get another piece of tape. Keep it nice and uh, taut. Right. And stick it down at the other side. Okay, so you'll end up with your tape stuck to the table or your bench or wherever you want to stuck to. Okay, now get it to, to lie in position because I'm going to go into start here. Okay, then you get your individual track links one at a time. You might think it's tedious, but it's not too tedious actually. It's not too tedious at all. Right, get your metal ruler and you can kind of stick it to the tape if you want to. We're going to get a reasonably straight line. You're happy with that. Okay. What you want is just something to kind of keep it reasonably straight. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. It does not have to be perfectly straight. Okay. Because there is going to be a little bit of flex in them anyway. So you start at one end. Me extra goggles. I'm freaking blind as a bloody that. Right. And you stick down your first one. We'll start here. And you put down your first one. Your first one always takes that little bit longer because you're going to have to. Now, this is where I hang a little tip. I get one of the the ones that you haven't cleaned off because you haven't really bothered with them. Right. I just 
kind of rested on it, okay? Not clipping it into place. That's just because there's a, they, they kind of fall down, if you know what I mean, because one is there and it's got the holes and they slot down into it. The first one, if you think it's going to just fall down, it just kind of keeps it up, okay? And then it's just a, a case of taking each track one at a time. And popping them in there, okay. Now the the, the masking tape or double-sided tape, if you've got double-sided tape, there's probably tweezers a heap of shit. Anyway, right. Like that. Okay. We'll take a close. I'll just do two, two or three of them, and we'll just take a close, a little look now at what I've done. Okay. I'll do another one, and then we'll, we'll, we'll zoom down in, and we'll show that. And you can see you can kind of build yourself up a little rhythm. Okay. So, as you see, you take your track link. it into place and push it down okay and you carry on there one at a time until you've got all 106 in this case or whatever it tells you in the, inst in the, in the instructions how many to put on okay and you put them all up one at a time that's the good wife's time look at that look she's after giving me a coffee so a coffee for my break thank you very much love Right, so I'll pause it there and I'll do another little uh, stretch of them and then we'll finish it off. Um, but that's all you do. Simple as that. Just put them all together. And the reason for the sticky tape is is to keep them in place. No other reason. Just to keep them, help keep them in place. And your kind of button, the metal ruler is just to kind of keep a straightish line. Okay. Now, one thing I will say, make sure that your double that your tape or your double sided tape, whichever you use, isn't really, really strong sticky stuff. That's why I prefer to use the old the cheap pound shop uh, masking tape. Because it's cheap and it's not super sticky and it'll do the job. Because when it comes to taking it off the tape, if it's super sticky, it's gonna fuck you up. Simple as that, it really is. Excuse my French, excuse my language, but it is. Okay? So keep it nice and simple nice uh, reasonably sticky uh, tape and carry on then like that so I'll pause that we'll get back to it then when I've got uh, another sort of uh, a longer section done okay so join you in a second I mean continue all right now I've got about what I'd say about six or seven inches of it done now at this stage and what you tend to do is you, you build up a kind of a rhythm on it. Now, it's a little bit more awkward because I'm trying to do it around the camera. But, you get to see what I'm talking about. Now, when you get a little stretch, say of about two inches at a time, right? Get the back of your um, tweezers or something nice and flat. And just rub along like that. Okay. What you're doing is you're just making sure that, that they've kind of sat into place properly. Okay, so just give it a little rub along every now and then, all right, and then continue on with your uh, with your with your linkage. Like I said, you, you kind of get into a rhythm and you you'll be flying away there. Bit of music on the background. I'm sure you won't know what's happening. Okay, and if I nice. Me now trying to work around the camera is pretty awkward, and obviously when I'm doing it, I don't have the camera sort of stuck in on top of me. But you build up a rhythm, then you fly through it. You really do. You wouldn't even notice how long it takes you. Maybe the whole thing takes you about twenty minutes. But yeah, so I can't see what I'm bloody well doing. There, there we go. Okay. And you build up a thing, get on your Right, get back here, you bastard. Right. 
thing, just do a few. Sort of uh, sit them down. So I'll continue on with them, I'll get them all finished off, and then we can get back to me and uh, we'll show you what we do next. Right, so here we're back now, and we'll excuse the clinky clink, right? But here we go, there's our full stretch done, right? 106 links okay and it didn't actually take that long I think about 20 minutes in total and that was including uh, stopping and starting for videoing and resetting the lights and God knows what else okay so we take our our, uh, our ruler out and handy then if you got it like I said with the metal rollers just give it another little uh, rub down with your ruler just making sure that they're all in place and they're, they're all flat and there's nothing sticking up because there's nothing most of them sticking up okay so now we've got them all laid out and remember they're not glued so now we've got to glue them and like I said I use the uh, Revell contact a professional okay so now I have to go back here to the very very first one again okay and what we'll do is we'll take out our little one that we used to to hold up our first one okay let me get our glue we get our glue and we go along each join like that now this Along the joint, just a little bit of glue, okay. Let's see, can we in the center and around? Okay, now I'll get all these glued up and I'll get back to you then, okay. All right, now so I've nearly finished these gluing these up and as you can see you just follow along the uh, along the join with your uh, the revel glue get into all the joints oh. And what you do now is you literally wait for about five, six minutes, seven or eight minutes, whatever. But usually, but I usually, what I usually do, believe it or not, is I actually, uh, I usually go for a cigarette. <laughs> Simple as that. When I finish the cigarette, I come back and it's uh, it's ready. So you see where it takes an average of about five or six minutes. So take a break, go out. Don't sort of stick your head over it, otherwise you'd be high as a kite. Oh, for about five or six minutes when that's sort of semi set okay because you want it to kind of stick but you don't want it to uh, go solid on you which is the whole purpose and then you can sort of start moving it then so I'll come back to you in about five minutes time when this is all set and we'll continue on and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go on to the next stage okay all right now we've had our uh, our break okay we've had our five six minutes break what you need now for this section and what, what's needed for this section is, like I said, your your other two cleaned off, ready to go, uh, spares, in case in, in case of emergency, in case you need extras, okay? They're all nicely cleaned off. Not glued on, not anything else, right? And one of these, I find these dead handy for it. It's a long blade, okay? And what you do is, very carefully, you get in under there. This is where the uh, the fact of not having the uh, super sticky tape comes in, all right? And you release it from the tape. Can you get in under, get in, in under them, okay? Take it nice and handy. Don't try and fly through it. You'll end up splitting them. Okay, remember they're not fully set, but they are. They're sticky. They're 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 semi stuck, shall we say? Semi stuck. The good word, semi stuck. 
it's like semi stuck huh? but anyway you have them nearly done right we get down to the end of it there and we release it from the sticky tape Right. And just move it off the tape. We take our tape away. Okay, we don't need that anymore. Alright, now we've got our our uh, our, our track. We need our vehicle. Sit the vehicle on it, on your track. Keep it around the, around the center. So your join then is going to be up here. And start with the side that's got the, uh, the your sprocket on. Okay, start with the sprocket side because you want that to fit in. That's the only one that, that sort of fits in around the uh, the little pegs or the the horns or whatever you want to bloody well call them, right? So you shake that in. If you want to sag, now is the time to put your little bit of a sag in, you see. Hit this side. Into the guides. And close it all up. Now, as you see, we've got a little bit of a gap here. And this is 106. The other, the other side then had that at 105 in the same kind of length at 105 so where we are at 106 and it is a perfect at 106 so right, so what we do now is we've got our 106 we've got our nicely wrapped up you get a bit of tamiya tape or a bit of tip tape as I call it all right I only want half that. Okay. What I do is. Right, what I was saying there before I just got cut off, before I cut myself off actually, is a little bit of tape on the bottom and a little bit of tape on the top. You don't have to be too um, precise with it because you're only just holding it in place. You're not actually sticking it solid and you don't need it for actually masking. Okay, so there you go. There's our uh, link to link tracks all in place. Okay, so we leave it at that. That's the end of this uh, quick instructional video. If you've liked it, give it the old thumbs up. Thank you very much. And uh, if you have any comments that you want to make or any questions you'd like to ask me, you can stick it below in the comments box. Don't forget uh, to subscribe to the channel if you've not already subscribed and if you have subscribed thank you very much if you'd like to subscribe there is a little uh, link where are we uh, about, about, about there with my little logo you can click on that and you can uh, it'll come up there you can subscribe to the channel if you've not already subscribed that is and if you have like I said thank you very 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 much so like I said we leave it at that um, that's about it for this video on how to do the tracks I've done the rubber tracks and now we've done the uh, link to link individual link or whatever you want to bloody well call them tracks okay they're not as frightening as they they, they seem um, they're actually quite simple just take your time make sure the pieces are nicely cleaned off you know all your uh, your little bits and pieces make sure you got all the uh, all the sprue gate marks cut off and your pieces nice and clean stick out your tape put them all together and uh, it's simple as you can see it's actually quite easy so I'll leave it at that lads thank you very very much for watching and uh, stay tuned for future videos of the like and of course my weekly bum on a Monday so I'll leave it at that lads stay safe enjoy yourselves and like I always say don't forget go out and buy yourself a kit build it and enjoy it because that's what it's all about it's about enjoying yourself and enjoying the hobby okay catch you in the next one lads be good